Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the small caps. So th these are small caps that were in play today. So first up we're going to take a look at CODX. This was the big winner today. It did close up uh, nearly 119%. Uh, You've got a big move here um, uh, with the break above all, all the moving averages. It got above the 50 and the 100-day simple moving averages. So tomorrow, uh, what, what you're looking for is a break above the, the red line. That's the 200-day simple moving average at 369. If it can trade above that level and get a close above, that's going to signal that it wants to head higher. If it stalls out here, you can see it's hitting some resistance in this, uh, what is that, the 380 level. Um, if it fails to break that and the candles work back into the bands, what you want to see is this 100-day simple moving average at 229 and EMA4 at 241 support hold. You know, there, there is support here at the, uh, th you know, $3.20 $3 level. That was the prior high here. So, so you know, uh, we'll keep an eye on this and we'll see if it can follow through and break through that 200-day simple moving average. Okay, let's look at LEJU. Closed up 32% today. Um, yeah, th th this stock it also made a big break above the moving averages on a, on a big volume spike. Um, um, for, for this thinly traded stock, it's above the, the, the middle Bollinger Band and the 50, 100, and 200 day simple moving averages. So now it needs to stay above that $1.50 level. That's the red line right there. And, and the next level to break is going to be this uh, cluster of candles here. It's where it, where it topped out last time around 157, 158 or so. If it can get above that, then it could possibly run up to this uh, to the 180s where you have the, the, the high from January, the high close, and the 300 day simple moving average at 186. If it pulls back below that 150 level tomorrow, it what you want to see is that 100-day simple moving average at 139 hold. Okay, so that, that was a nice move today. T take a look at HMNY. Closed up 15%. Okay, so yeah, this has been really beaten down. The stock's super beat up. Um, it's been riding EMA4 resistance lower uh, s since there was a close below on, on this candle right here. Uh, um, yeah, the EMA4 is currently at 47 cents. Every single one of these candles closed below that pink line, and today we were, uh, you know, we were stalking, you know, watching this play in the chat, looking for a close above EMA four. But as you can see, once again, they didn't allow it to close above. It, it, as long as they keep closing HMNY below that level, it's not ready to go. Once it finally closes above, that that'll be the clue. Okay, yeah, they want this thing to head higher, and then we'll be looking for a run up to EMA eight at fifty six. If it were to break above that level, that's when it could get going, you could see EMA 13 tested and a possible, uh, you know, dead cap bounce back up there to that uh, previous resistance level. Uh, just keep in mind, you know, when you have a very strong downtrend like this, uh, you, you many times bounces are just short cover rallies, and the downtrend continues if resistance fails to break. So the first clue is going to be a close above 47. Okay, and you can see all that huge volume down there. And, and so look at the 15 minute chart. So so it did heat up on the 15 minute chart, and it. Did did close above the, the the middle Bollinger Band, the dotted purple line above the green line, the 50 simple moving average, and it also closed above the uh, the, the the gold line, so, so the uh, 100 simple moving average. So it's above all, all of those levels, and so as long as it stays above, it's in play. It's just a red flag that it did not close above 47. All right. So if you're if you're you know trading off of the 15 minute chart, you know it, 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 this chart is bullish and signaling that it's in play, but because it closed below EMA4 on the daily chart. It did make it a, a risk to hold overnight. Keep that in mind. If it drops below four, five, six tomorrow, that's going to be your signal that the chart's breaking down. It's not ready to go. And then you could see the 50 simple moving average at four, three, eight tested. If that were to break, the, the chart's completely broken. It's already busted, but but it has to hold on to support here to head higher. You know, it's trying to get a dead cap bounce going. If it can get above this high close here, that 49 level, th then what you're looking for is a run up to the 200 simple moving average at five, three, seven. Okay, take a look at GBR. It closed up 25% today. Um, yeah, th th this was one that we had on a radar for a possible break above the uh, 300 and 100 day simple moving averages here. And it did break above both those levels. You can see it was in this uh, channel, the sideways channel. It also closed above high close resistance here at 155. And so it made a run all the way up here. Um, you know, it's hitting this January close. And, and then just a, just on the, the 23rd of January, that's the recent high close, the 
highest close in 2018. And so what you want to see now is a close above that level. If it can get above that that you know 189 level and, and close above that, that that could signal that it wants to head higher. You know this is a sketchy chart just with all the the long upper wicks on the candles. And basically that since this has been in a big sideways channel right now it's at the top of the channel. Okay, so if it fails like it did all these times to to, to break out higher, you know this is where it's going to top out and pull back. Now if you see it close above 190, that would be your clue that it wants to head higher than it could possibly run back up to these 230s and 240s. But but keep in mind, this is the top of the sideways channel. So if it fails to break that 180 to 190 resistance zone, it could pull back. If it does, you want to see that EMA4 down there at 156 hold. You know, it did close well above that upper Bollinger Band today. And many times when that happens, the candles do work back into the bands. Okay, let's look at AXON. Closed up 23% today. Um, yeah, keep an eye on this one. It's heating up. It, it, it uh, closed above that the 50 day simple moving average, the green line. You can see all these candles here are, are you know trying to turn that green line into support, and they were holding the dotted purple line, which is the middle Bollinger Band, at a dollar twenty-two. The 50-day simple moving average is a dollar twenty-three, and then today it, 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 it made a bullish move above you know the resistance. It also closed above high close resistance here at one forty, and so all that is signaling that, that that this is the move that it finally wants to head higher. That's what the charts are signaling. It does have the bullish volume spike. Now it just has to follow through. You know on, on these other days where we have the white candle or red candles have followed. Notice how each one is being followed by a uh, red candle when you're when they're getting the little uh, green volume spikes down here. So will that pattern continue um, or, or, or will there be a follow through tomorrow in another white candle? If there is follow through and it breaks above that 100 day simple moving average at 161, that would be really bullish and signaling that it wants to head higher. If it were to drop back below 140, that would be your signal that it, you know that, that it's, it's not ready to go. It's still consolidating. Okay, let's look at DHX. Closed up 21% today. Yeah, so so keep an eye on this stock tomorrow. Um, you know, it has this strong move. It bounced off of 125 down here. They had been pushing higher, and now it's above, you know, the 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 20, 50, and 100-day simple moving averages. And then today it got above the 200-day uh, simple moving average. You can see here there's a gap between high of day yesterday and low of day today. It, it, it's hitting the 300-day simple moving average at 232. That's the level to break. If it can close above that level, that'll be a signal it wants to head higher, and then it could possibly run up to 260. That's that recent high close over here. There's a doji from back in September. If if it fails to break that level, you could see it come back down, and it might fill that gap and, 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 and test the 200-day simple moving average. It needs to hold that level at 190 and then break above 232 to head higher. If 232 fails to break, then that would signal a temporary top. Okay, let's look at ONTX. Closed up 10% today. Um, yeah, this was an interesting one. Um, yeah, because this volume spike here was really impressive. Look at how much volume came in. And, and the trading range stayed, stayed very tight. You know, usually it, with the way these small caps have been running, when when you get such a large volume spike, it, you know they would have made a giant move, but they kept it in a tight range. So it looks like there was some loading going on down here. As you can see, there was a very tight sideways channel. I mean, look at this sideways channel, super tight. And so they, they, they've kept this in a very uh, tight range for uh, several weeks here. And then if you look here, the, the, the Bollinger Bands were extremely tight. Um, you know, heading into last week there, there. You know, heading into Friday, into the holiday weekend. I mean, look, the, the upper Bollinger Bands up here, and the lower Bollinger band was off the page and then you know off the chart here and then you could see look how they, they, they were almost touching that this was signaling that that a move was imminent and now you're getting a breakout to the upside that that generally signals especially since it's on a volume spike that, that it wants to head higher if it can break above this 41 resistance level then uh, up here at 46 is a big level um, you know you're looking at like 52 and then eventually what you want to see is it work its way back up to that 50 day simple moving average at 60 that that is if it, if it stays above Above the middle Bollinger Band down here at, at, at 37. Okay, so that's the big level to hold. It has to stay above that level to keep this uh, new uptrend going. It's been it, it, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band on Friday. That's the dotted purple line. That was the first close above that level since way back here uh, in the, the uh, uh, March. Way back here in March. It looks like March 7th. And so uh, yeah, th 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 this is uh, uh, you know on Friday that was a huge bullish change in trend, and that was your clue that that. 
that it was heating up. And then now today you have follow through with a huge volume spike. So I'd keep an eye on this one. We'll see if it can follow through and keep pushing higher. If you look at the uh, 15 minute chart, you can see how volume poured in here at two o'clock. So you got the volume that came in. You know, they are uh, presenting on, I believe it's it's June 8th or it's, it's coming up. They're, they're presenting uh, next week. And so, um, you know, at, at some conference. And so I think that, that that created the Momo for the big boost. But to get a bunch of volume coming in, um, you know, it has to stay above the middle Bollinger Band at 397. If it fails to stay above that level, then it could consolidate. Uh, it, it needs to break above this 425 zone. It, 4225. Break above that level, that'll signal that it wants to head higher. Okay, let's look at SRRA. Closed up 17%. Um, as you can see here, it's 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 uh, broke back above the gold line, which is the 100-day simple moving average at 253. It needs to stay above that level. And then it closed above high close resistance. Okay, that's the closing price in this white candle. If it could stay above 280, that $3 level would be the next key level to break. You can see in February, there's a lot of consolidation in that zone between 280 and $3. So above 280, $3 was the top of that previous level. It'll have to break through three if it want, wants to work its way back up to 350. Right now, the main thing is to hold that 100 day simple moving average and then turn 280 into support. Okay, so it has a good uptrend going. We'll see if it can keep pushing higher. Okay, take a look at AEZS, closed up 13%. Um, as you can see, this has a very strong uptrend that started at, after this uh, bounce down here in April. You know, it hit this 120 support zone, and it's just been cruising higher ever since. Um, you know, it, it's really pushing right now. It had a nice volume spike. You can see that it was the largest volume day since back here in January. Um, you know, it is pushing well above the upper Bollinger Band. It's on four white candles in a row, and it's hitting this resistance zone from back here. Um, it, you know, between December and January. And so this is going to be a tough level to break. If it fails to get above 250, then, uh, you know, it could slow down. Um, now I'm seeing that there's, well, I guess that gap did fill. Um, yeah, it basically, um, you know, if it could break above 250, then you have this 270 level, the the, the bottom of this candle. And then, uh, yeah, and and then, you know, you're talking about these upper, uh, you know, the, the tops of these candles here is the next targets. So basically, if we can get above 250 and 270, then the threes are back. Back on deck now. Now, if it if it fails to get above this 250 resistance zone where 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 it topped out before, um, th then what you want to see is EMA4 at 220 ho holding. And that's been holding for multiple weeks. As long as it holds, the uptrend's super strong. It can take a pause, come down, hit 220, bounce off, and keep cruising higher. If it were to close below that 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 EMA4, then you could see the uh, you could all the moving averages are converged down here between 180 and two dollars, and so you'd want to see that support zone hold. Okay. Let's look at TNTR. Closed up 19% today. Uh, unfortunately, it, they, they sold it off uh, into the close there. Um, you know, it, it was bouncing in intraday. It got above EMA4 at 54, but but it failed to close above. You can see it hit that that EMA8 at 71, and, and traders took profits. When you're playing a dead cap bounce play like this, and, and it's in a very strong downtrend, multi-month downtrend, riding EMA's four and eight resistance lower, you have to be looking to, to uh, locking gains at those levels if resistance fails to break I mean you, you, because if they don't the downtrend continues and so uh, yeah it, it's a tough game tr trying to catch the falling knife um, you know if you time it correctly you can do well but 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 keep in mind when, when uh, you, you know re resistance fails to break and then it pulls back you know you could get stuck holding um, you know or, or you have to sell for a loss now, now, now the big thing is to get above EMA4 once it closes above EMA4 then it could possibly work its way back up you know it hit EMA13 here here, the orange line and failed to break. You can see it hit it again, right? Th you know, it hit, it's hit that uh, the, on the last two attempts. And so that would be the target if it were to uh, follow through here and head higher. You know, unfortunately, it did form that long upper wick and people were taking profits. Look how nasty. This is the TMTR uh, 15 minute chart. It had that nice run up. And then when, when it failed to stay above that 100 simple moving average, that was your sell signal. When, 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 they, when they break above and you're playing a dead cap bounce, you know, it gets above the middle Bollinger Band. That, that's your signal, you know, that, that, to take a position if you're if you're trying to uh, time the bottom, and then you know it gets above the 50. It has to stay above that level. It keeps it in play, and then and then when it got above the 100, it had to stay above that level to keep it in play. Once it dropped below here on this candle, you know that was your signal to lock in gains. If you didn't lock it in there, the the break here below the middle Bollinger Band was your signal to lock in gains. Otherwise, you know it, you can see how, how how far it dropped after it broke those levels. Never hold a, a, a dead 
cap bounce play that, that has a bearish 15 minute chart. That is not a good idea. Okay, so, so now it has to get back above the 50 simple moving average at 46 to get the reversal going. Okay, let's look at LKM. Closed down 15% or up 15% today. Um, so yeah, this is another uh, one of those uh, ugly downtrends where it's bouncing. It had the volume spike down here uh, on the 16th, and so today it closed back above the EMA4 at 94. It has to stay above that level. If it drops below, it will be a risk to hold. Um, you know, it, it's hitting the the EMA8 here at a dollar, and so keep an eye on it tomorrow. If it can break above a dollar, EMA13 will be the resistance level to break, and then you have this gap up here. And and so it might uh, make a, a move up to the gap, which is up here around $1.29. And so, uh, you know, that's some nice percentage gains if, if it gets above a dollar. So we'll see if it can, uh, you know, follow through. It did have the PSAR bull flip. Uh, you could see the green dots are now below the candles. See how they were above the candles during the during the downtrend. And now they finally flip below. And then you have the MACD bull cross in the 18, 8, 13, and 5. Keep an eye on the 12, 26, and 9 to see if it cross over. What makes this an interesting play is the volume at the bottom. Many times, you know, they're loading and then they take it higher. So we'll see if it'll follow through. Okay, take a look at OCX. Uh, this is a thinly traded stock. Only 136,000 shares today. Keep an eye on it tomorrow for a break above the 100-day simple moving average at 288. If it breaks above that level, um, it could get moving. It, 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 has, it does have days where it has volume. And so, uh, it, you know, the volume could come in if it breaks resistance. So you can see here it's, it's right at the top of this channel. You can see there's a, there's a channel here and it's at the top. And so it has to bust through the top of the channel, which is lined up with the 100-day simple moving average. You can see here's the bottom of the channel. Here's the top of the channel. And so now it's hitting that top. If it busts through, it could possibly make a run up into the, the $4 and test that 200 and 300-day simple moving averages. You know, we'll have resistance along the way, of course. You know, there, the, there's a tight training range here. <coughs> that 350 zone is going to be a big uh, level to break. But yeah, keep an eye on it. We'll see if it can follow through. It had the nice volume spike down here, and it had the uh, PSAR bull flip. And uh, yeah, you've got the MACD bull cross in the 8, 13, and 5. And then here we have TIK. <coughs> Closed up 19%. Um, yeah, so check it out. It's it's it closed above the uh, 300 day simple moving average. This is a, a another thinly traded stock. It was interesting because it closed above resistance. If it could stay above 328. It could possibly head higher, so uh, keep an eye on this stock. We'll see if it can follow through and and, and make a move uh, and and keep pushing higher. You do have a high high close resistance to break here in the 350 level. <coughs> if it were to drop below that 300 day simple moving average, it would not be ready to go. So yeah, so that one is is another one to watch tomorrow. And then one more is uh, WSTI. This is an over counter stock. Uh, total piece of junk. It, it, it's it's on this uh, multi-day run and volume's been picking up. Keep an eye on it if you if you trade these kind of over-the-counter stocks. If it breaks above this uh, zero zero one zero level, you can see this has been big resistance. And uh, <coughs> if it breaks above, it could possibly uh, get moving higher. You can see here this is a big move for the stock. You can see it's the uh, uh, big volume. Um, you know, it had big volume on the drop below. Now volume's coming in. So yeah. So for you OTC triple O type players, um, yeah, this one's for you. Okay. Thanks for viewing this video. Come check out the chat. I'll post the link below the video. Thank you.